I'm Linda McPhee, and I'm not in my studio where we did the TV show. I'm in my kitchen. I'm at my kitchen table and with my good old sewing machine that I've been using for about 40 years. So hopefully you can follow along with me and see how easy it is to make these masks. I kind of ignored the mask thing for the first little while because everybody said, oh, it didn't make any difference. But now that's all everybody's talking about. And I think, what harm can it do to have a mask? And if you're going to have a mask, why don't you make a pretty one? So let's make a pretty one. So here's some examples of some of the wild ones that I've been making. And of course, before you do anything in this day and age, you've got to sanitize your hands for sure. So here we go. We've got the hands all done. We've actually made a kit for this and you don't have to have the kit. You can use your own scraps and do whatever. But the kit is simple because it's got the fabric enough to make four masks. And we've made all our masks double because I want to just be sure that they're going to keep out as much bad stuff as they can. So this is going to be the outside of the mask. This is going to be the inside of the mask. And you'll need some elastic. And each mask takes a couple of strips of elastic. So that's basically what you're going to do. So before you start cutting out, if you do get the kit, for instance, make sure that you've got... So here's, here's going to be four of them. And this is going to be double. So... Yes, so always, and if you've done much sewing, you know that you want to make sure you've got enough fabric before you start cutting one. So I've got one cut out. Here it is. And another little trick is put your right sides together when you're cutting it out, because that way, when it comes to sewing it, you're all set to go. So I've got this all cut out, and I'm set to go. And this is an adult size, but we've done them in kid sizes. We've done them in youth sizes. That's all on the pattern. So I'm going to just start another little trick when you're starting. If you start at that very edge, it's going to make kind of a barf. People call it kind of a barf, a big glump underneath. So if you start a little bit in and then go back and then go ahead, then you don't get that big glump at the end. So let's, and it's about a quarter inch, more or less, in my allowance. So here we go, we've got that. Okay, here it is. And by the way, when I was cutting it out, I did use my good scissors. Where are those good scissors? I'll show you the little scissors because I love these little ones too. Just look at how they can clip. And I do like to clip that seam because when I press it, it's going to make a glump in the middle. And I don't want that to be, I want this to look professional. The whole idea I have when I sew is to make it look like you didn't make it. So it's got to look very professional. So those are my good little scissors. They are Kai scissors. And these are the mother load of scissors. These ones, I, in fact, I even put a little tag on them. So nobody dares cut anything other than fabric with those. But when you cut this out with those, yeah, they're great. Okay, let's take it to the ironing board. So I want to just press that seam because this is going to be your seam right across your face. By the way, I looked at a lot of different kinds of masks. And there's lots of different kinds. But I think this is the one that I settled on because it's so neat and it's so simple to do. I'm kind of famous for making things that are called the world's easiest, and I defy anybody to make anything easier than that. So that's going to be the part that goes up on your nose, and it's going to be like that. So you're going to do exactly the same thing with your lining. And the lining, oh, and by the way, I didn't even talk about this. You should have good, firm fabric. One way to tell if it's firm and tightly woven is to blow through it. And if you can't, you have to have some air through it, but if you can just, if there's a breeze coming, you know that that's not tight enough. So you want it tight. And especially too, if you're gonna put a lining in it, have a nice lining too. So this way we've got two layers, which should make it tight and should be good. Uh, these are not medical masks. These are just masks that are gonna help keep the bad guys away. So what I'm going to do is line up my, there's a, there's a top and a bottom, and it'll tell you on your pattern. So this is the top, this is the nose part, and I'm going to line that up and put these two seams right on top of each other. If, if you can, it's kind of a good idea to have this one going this way, this one going this way, and then your bulk is not going to be as much. So, okay, let's go and sew this. And we're ready to, we're ready to sew this edge. I'm just, that's my top, that's my bottom. Okay, so start a little bit in, and then go back, and then go forward again. And then you don't get that big glump. 
So I'm going to make sure that I've got my one seam going one way and one seam going the other way. And then I'm going to go around this edge. Okay. It's not a bad idea to just take off that little corner there and that little corner there. It just gives you a little bit less bulk when it comes to pressing. So let's go press it. When I want to get a nice flat press, I'm going to press it all to one one side first, because that's pretty simple. So I'm just going to get inside there, and I'm going to get inside there, and I'll press it all one way. And then I get, then when I turn it this way, it's all kind of flat and ready to press flat. So there we go. So here we go. Let's press that. There's the nose. And I'll flatten this. Okay, so this is starting to look like a mask already. This is good. So now I'm going to do right sides together and sew the bottom. So just before I sew it, I'm just going to make sure that my one seam is going this way and the other seam is going the other way, so it's not going to be too bulky. And, and if these don't actually match, I mean, you might have cut them out quickly or whatever, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference, so don't worry about it. That's not coming out exactly even, but that's not going to make any difference. Okay. There we have the second seam sewn. All right. Now, basically, we have to just turn it all inside out. The right side out, I should say. already pressed that top edge so let's go back and press this edge. I can't really get inside there so I can just kind of hold it with my fingers and press that as flat as I can get it. Flip that, flatten that, come across there, come across there, come across there. So now it's really quite masky looking so now I have to do something about these sides. So you could put a loop of elastic to go around your ears that way. I kind of prefer the longer piece of elastic that's going to go behind your head because people talk about your ears and maybe it depends on what your hair is doing. You don't want to be going around or your ears and you might get sores behind your ears if you wear these all the time. So what I'm doing here is that I'm flipping in both of those edges, those raw edges, and just holding them so I can press it because that's where your elastic is going to get encased. So that's that side. So what I do is I just kind of hold that piece, hold that piece, and kind of flip it in, and then press it. Okay, so always remember that kind of curved part like that, that's your nose. That's where it goes. It's going to go on your face like that. Okay. I have my elastics cut. The one for the top is going to be longer than the one that goes around your neck. So this I cut at 12 inches. This could vary. Um, certainly with the little ones, we've got a guide on our pattern that sort of says suggested lengths. So I put that, did you see how I did that? I put that inside, just tucked it inside there. And I'm going to be top stitching that. I'll go, this is where it's a little bit and then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to go forward. And make sure that you're getting the bottom one while you're sewing. So I'm sewing it in a little bit to make sure that I get the bottom one. And so when I get down to here, I want that bottom elastic. And the bottom elastic, I said the top one was about 12. This is about 10 inches. So let me go. Okay, now when I'm here, I might just as well go around this and top stitch it. Because these are washable, and that's so important. Because you want to be wearing these every time you go out. You don't have to wear them in your own house with your own people. 
But every time you go out, you want to have one of these masks on. And so when you come back home, you want to put it in the washer. Okay, here is I'm at that edge. So now I better make sure that I get the top one. That's the top one. And it's going to go in here. And I don't want to twist it. So here we go. We're going to stick that in there. And it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same distance as the last one was. It doesn't really matter. So here is, I've got it stuck there. And, and when I sew that, I kind of sew back and forth a little bit because that's the weak spot. So, okay, we've got that one in. Then I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to get the bottom one in. So here's the bottom one. Keep it flat. Stick it inside that edge. And then, just never mind this, it'll just stay out of the way. And I'll go back and forth. And now let's finish off this bottom. get to the edge here, back stitch a little bit, and my handy dandy little shears, or scissors, okay, bring these under here, and trim off your threads, and by golly, we're done. So this could have been worn that way, if you like the lining better than the outside, but certainly when you decide what side you're going to use, use that side all the time. Once I started making these, I found everybody in the world wants them. And of course, why not make them in something fun and fancy and write on them if you want? We did one here before I even put it together. I wrote on it. And you can see if you can read this, you're too close. Or put anything you want, names or whatever you want, whatever kind of messages you want. So have some fun and have make some masks and stay safe.